We do have the rain falling and uh, while not all night, it's going to rain a good chunk of the night here. And then tomorrow, Thursday, it looks even more unpleasant than today. So we're going to go Randy factor of three. Yeah, uh, in April, but a nasty day to be outside working. It's going to be windy. It is going to be rainy and it's going to be chilly. Super Doppler 7 radar. Recent lightning strikes here in Mills County, not over Douglas County. See the rain? It was heavier for a time, a little lighter now, but there's more coming in from Iowa. Here's storm predictor, 1130, 2 a.m., 5 a.m. We never get out of it. And look at the morning drive. Oh, steady rain. Pretty strong northwest wind. Uh, in the afternoon, it's not going to end, but it may taper a little bit. Today, 67 degrees. You know, at, at, at 1 o'clock in the morning, 67 degrees, but then 50 by late this morning, and we kind of hovered in the low 50s through the day. Now, since midnight, it's been 37 hundredths of an inch of rain, so starting to add up a little bit. Downtown, Embassy Suites on 10th Street. There's our camera. Rain on the lens, 50. Northwest wind, 16 miles an hour, 55 Atlantic, 57 Red Oak, but 47 Fremont. Northwest breezes are blowing and north winds across most of our western Iowa counties, gusting over 30 miles an hour here in Norfolk and Columbus. And I think we're going to get into some of that in Omaha uh, during the day on Thursday. Here's the last three hours. See that rain kind of backed up from Iowa into eastern Nebraska. Low pressure over Missouri swirling so the moisture comes all the way around but as this thing edges northward some of this wrap around in nebraska will head our way we're not going to see snow <laughs> but it's going to be chilly and impact weather for sure high probabilities of rain 5 7 11 uh, 3 p.m 5 p.m not very nice out here's storm predictor so this band of rain materializes up and down the missouri river valley from kansas city to sioux city and Omaha right in between. There's the rain in the afternoon. Tomorrow evening, rain continues, but starts to edge east of us. Low pressure's up around Minneapolis. And then as it moves out, we get some clearing here and some sun on Friday, but then this reinforcing front pushes through. And you see the showers out here. This, while not particularly heavy, is coming in for Friday night and Saturday morning. So not a great start to the weekend. 44 the low tonight. Impact weather. Showers likely breezy, chilly. High probability of showers at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., noontime, and 4 p.m. And temperatures could, in some spots, stay in the upper 40s. I'm optimistic, though. You know, it's me. Mr. Optimism. 50 for the high temperature. 64 on Friday. 62 on Saturday. There is that chance of showers uh, primarily in the morning on Saturday. Good-looking day Sunday. High temperature 68 degrees, not particularly windy, but then winds pick up and pretty chilly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Um, and we could still get frost and freezing temperatures into next week. Mr. Optimism, where are the 80s? <laughs> we had those already.